All right. Welcome back to the uh, second episode. Third episode. Third episode. Just spoke about this. We did, we did. Sorry. Third episode. Yeah. Um, yeah. How was your, uh, how's your, how's your week? It was really good, mate. Thank you. I, um, sorry, I was just trying to sort that Bluetooth. Um, what's today? Today is Friday. Friday. Um, what did I do? I went to Byron. Byron yeah. was sick. Yeah. Really, really good. It was, uh, what, four days up there. Um, two of those days were driving with two kids in the back of the car. So yeah. would have been fun. Yeah, we got there. Yeah, you we rang me at like five o'clock and you're like, yep, we're leaving. And then I ring you at like four in the afternoon and you're like, only at Coffs Harbour. I was like, bro, it's an it's a eight hour trip. Oh, man. <laughs> like, yeah, we, we had to pull over like yeah, every hour and a half, go get the kids. And we had to drop our little dog off to our friend who lives like two hours away. Yeah. Bro, that thing has not grown, eh? No, no. Its attitude's grown. Yeah. The, the the physical body hasn't hasn't grown at all, so... Um, Maybe it needs some sun. <laughs> Short Kings, what's up? <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, mate, I uh, went up to Byron, did that. Um, and then what was back on yesterday? And then we're just back into work, really. Yep. We've been pumping out work, which has been really, really good. Yep. Um, yeah, cool things coming. Um, things I didn't even fucking really see coming for the business, but it's... Um, Happening. Yeah, expansive at the moment is our... Is our um, pretty much our fucking value that we're yeah. aligning to at the moment, it's just expansion. So, um, but yeah, busy with that, mate. Busy with the next two programs starting next week. Um, and then the reconnection event at the end of the month. So, yep. it's so all systems fucking go, mate. How about you? How's your week? Uh, it's been pretty busy. Um, work, yeah, it's been pretty much working and I've started my uh, new training and diet with the old keys. Yeah, how's that going? Pretty I've, good. Because uh, you're on a different uh, different schedule to me. As you can see, I've got a bit of um, bit of timber around the hips, so I'm working that off. Um, yeah. And you're just trying to become like a well-oiled machine for Byron Bay, right? Pretty much, yeah. yeah. The, the road to Byron. So, yeah, training twice a day, 20 kilometres in the morning on a bike, and then uh, hitting the gym in the afternoon. And then on weekends, I'll uh, do a big ride. So I think tomorrow I'm going to try and aim for about 80Ks. Jesus. Will that 80K ride, would that be like outside, or will you still be on the trainer? No, I'm going to go. So weekends will be outside. And just then just um, training throughout the week. Yeah, it's just a bit hard during the week just to get everything going and get yeah. out there. And time, by the time I finish work and start work, it's just too much. So. Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah, so doing that. And then I'll um, pretty much, yeah, instead of not really having rest days where I don't do anything, it's just more like a um, active recovery. So mm-hmm. on Sunday, I'll probably do a light session with keys, do some mobility, a bit of strength. Um, yeah, other than that, the dieting is a bit of a change, but it's been good. Got the ice other tub as well, I've seen. Yeah, got a new ice tub. Um, so yeah, if you're looking for an ice tub, head over to Ice Tubs Australia. And yeah, we've got a sponsored athlete over yeah. here. You got a discount code, don't you? Oh, I, I don't know if it's for me. But well, okay. Do Ice Tubs Australia <laughs> discount code. We want <laughs> we want it. T James as the <laughs> discount code. Fifteen percent off if you're feeling frisky. Yeah. All right. <laughs> also, and while we're on that topic, why not shout it out there? If any sponsors want to jump onto this podcast, I'll yeah, happily do up. a couple of ad reads. And yeah. yeah, fuck, hit us up if you want. Yeah, if you want to have your product on this uh, on this podcast, I'm all ears. I'm all fucking ears. Send away. Send an email to um to us. Yeah. Probably, yeah, probably your email. Yeah, Tahi, tahi.polariscoaching at gmail.com. That's the one. This guy. Get after it. Send no away. spam me though, please. Spam him. <laughs> spam away. Uh, yeah, other than that, everything's training-wise really good. Um, yeah, that just yeah, pretty good. I've had a crazy weekend at home. and Sweet. A week, sorry. So. What's the plan for the weekend? Uh, right footy finals as yeah, well. Yeah, footy tonight. Ooh. Panthers. Who's tonight? Panthers para. Oh, Panthers. that's a cracking match. Do you reckon Penrith? Penrith yeah, will probably do it, eh? Have they got full strength side back? Yeah, because they, they just rested last week, eh? Yeah, pretty much. They rested like the whole team, pretty much. Mm. So wait, and who did they verse last week? Para, wasn't it? Para, I think. So I think yeah, uh, Para playing against and they were saying that, that was like a, a Para playing against each other. I mean, ro- Roosters and um, bunnies. Bunnies playing. Yeah, we're gonna get flogged anyway. Um, do you reckon it was a tactic from Penrith to be like we're gonna put out a shit side so then we don't have to verse Storm in the first round? No, they normally. I don't, maybe I didn't know if that was the plan, but I know they um they did that last year too. They just yeah. They, well, that's they, what happens when you are fucking what ten points clear before or eight points clear before finals footy. It's yeah. fucking insane. So, uh, yeah. Other than riding on the weekend, watch footy, mm-hmm. chill out with Shana. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. Other than that, not really too much. What cool. yourself? Um, I haven't really gotten that far to the weekend, mate. I've just been so focused on work this week. Um, yeah. Footy, footy tonight. Um. I think I think Ali is having a first sleepover this weekend. I'm not sure if uh, her friend is coming over to our place or Ali's going to hers. But anyway, that's parent life. I'll um be yeah, be obviously entertaining 
kids sleep over, so I dare say I'll have to go into um, ultra dad mode for that. Yep. And then probably the markets on the weekend, mate. Oh, yeah, I might actually do that too. That's Sunday, about it. Sunday morning, dumplings. Yeah. Oh, oh, my God. oh, actually, I don't know if kids will let me do that. But oh, no, they don't. He won't listen. He doesn't even watch the podcast. He doesn't listen to He doesn't, listen he doesn't to care this. about us. Yeah, he doesn't listen. <laughs> <laughs> um, mental health check-in, how are you? Good, bro. I'm really good. Yeah. Um, busy, but uh, yeah. Yeah, all the strategies that we've got in place, it's... Um, yeah, we're able to deal with it, able to deal with the stress in a in a good way. Stress is always a it's always got this annotation that's a negative thing. It can be if you don't deal with it the correct way. Yeah. Um, I find stress is a um, it can be a driving factor as well, especially in the gym. Um, I find if I'm a bit stressed out heading into the gym, it's a good session yeah. compared to you know being a bit flat. So um, yeah, doing really really well. Yeah, just um, it's pretty much just head down, bum up at the moment. Um, and then, yeah, do that for, for the next couple of weeks and then just let it all sink in. How about you? How's your how's your noggin feeling? Yeah, I'm feeling pretty good. A um, couple of stresses with finances and that, chasing invoices and stuff like that. But uh, other than that, been pretty good. Mm. Um, yeah, I'm proud of how the way, how you way the yeah, I'm how the way you, you dealt with it. that yesterday. Yeah, I think it was so. fucking good. It was really good. Yeah. I've never really done it that way before, but it was it was nice. It was good. It's good little thing for myself to overcome. Yep. Um, but yeah, I'm doing really good. Cool. Feeling good. good. Feeling. Excellent. Ready so to go. How how my uh, how many weeks now till till Byron? What six seven weeks? Yeah, pretty. Much. I haven't really set a date. Yeah, it's, I just know I'm just setting it as the end of October. End of October. That's what we're doing. So cool. probably like the twenty eighth. I think we're gonna get aim for somewhere. All right, that. cool, cool, cool. That's that'll probably that's probably gonna be fucking hot weather too. Yeah, I really hope it is. To be honest, yeah, well, I think it will be. Oh, the, yeah. I think I- even if it's raining, I think it'll still be pretty hot. Yeah, all riding. Oh, w- by the way, that's what I was gonna say. That drive up there, you're gonna have a fucking hilly time until coughs and then after coughs it's yeah, fucking know. sick i already know bull dale is gonna be a fucking shit one so but after after stri- when you get through coughs that road to byron yeah, for the next good. two hours is like yeah. that it's just flat yeah. through the mountains it's sick it's a beautiful ride it'll be a good ride um the only other thing that i was thinking is if i'm following you i know this is a off topic but give you guys an insight whatever um if i'm following you in in the car i don't know if there's enough space on the side of the road no, I see. I think what I'm going to get you to do is drive maybe a couple of kilometers in front of me. Okay. And then just wait, and then we'll just talk. If I, something happens, I'll just close on the phone. Okay. Or so All right. Yeah, cool. that's probably um, yeah, that's probably the way that we're going to have to do it. I think. Yeah. Even if I ride like five, ten k in front, and then just wait, and then if something fucking happens, I'll just turn around. I'll just turn around, or I'll just drive off and leave you. And tell you what, though, fucking fuel is going to cost us the. Bi- that'd be the biggest thing. Oh, uh, are you hooking a trailer up? Uh, no, no, don't think you'll be fine. Should we? Well, okay. hopefully, if that little s- thing comes through with that company that I emailed, Audi. Oh yeah, yeah fuck yeah! Hopefully, we can what up, Audi? <laughs> give us that, give us <laughs> that <laughs> car, <laughs> fucking car. <laughs> Jacob wants to be relaxing. Yeah. Um, you just forget about me. <laughs> yeah, I'll, drive it, I'll, I'll drive to Brisbane. <laughs> yeah. Um, I was gonna say no, fuel's fine, bro. I um, yeah. when I drove up there, like, yeah, fuel's fucking expensive. Don't get me wrong. I'm not saying that it's not. Um. But we only I only filled up once on the way up and filled up once on the way yeah, back. Yeah, it'd be a bit more the stopping and starting and uh, and true. I didn't fucking right. think of that. Yeah, come to be on if it's hot. Oh Ke- mate. keys will be out the window with his shirt I, off. Keys won't come. Watch I'll mark my words. Mark my he's words. Coming. Keys will not come. He's coming. And I will be left by myself. Watch. He's coming. It's a shout out to you, Keys. If he doesn't come and anyone wants to jump in the uh, support car, let us know. Good chats over here. Yeah. We can uh you can be the guest uh we'll probably do a couple podcasts on the way up. So I think we will, yeah. Uh, the other thing I was thinking, why don't we do like um we could do like uh, like live sessions as well on Instagram and stuff like that. Yeah, I'd probably be doing a couple of live sessions while I'm riding yeah. as well. I just reckon d- every morning do a little group meditation together as well. So it'd be a little insight to pe- someone if someone was to jump on, it'd be a little insight to what we actually go through and do every day. So yeah, I reckon that'd be yeah, sick. That'd be cool. Yeah, yeah. cool. Yeah, mad. Anyway, enough yeah. bike talk. Yeah, all right. It's not about you, Tahi. All right. Yeah, Fuck. for once. <laughs> Even though I was the one that was asking yeah. all the questions. <laughs> so I was so inquisitive. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I hope everyone enjoyed the challenge that we put out last week. If you uh, got any feedback or you want to let us know how you went, drop it in the comments and um, we'll have a read and go from there. Yeah, what was the... What was the uh, ice baths ice in the bath. morning. Oh, no, ice baths, just a cold shower and just a little journal as well. Yeah, cool. Yeah, sick. Let so us we, know. we do have another one that I'll let know at the end of the podcast what we've got coming up next. So Cool. Yeah. Uh, fun fact... The uh, ancient Romans used to drop a piece of toast into their wine for good health. Why? I didn't look at the why. Okay. I just looked at the fact. Go again. Say it again. The ancient Romans used to drop a piece of toast uh-huh. into their wine for good health. Uh-huh. Okay. Right. So. Yeah, sweet. I'll All be right. sitting at home drinking a bottle of wine tonight, dropping toast, and, and nothing happens. It's not a fact. But. It's a cat. But. 
at least you're on the wines, right? Exactly. Like you're having a good drink. That's fine. Um, <laughs> what's my, what would I have a fun? I don't have a fun fact, but I've got a question for you. And this, this is a question for you guys at home. I, um, I heard this on a podcast uh, a couple of weeks ago and I was saving it for when we record because I think it's a fucking, yeah, hilarious question. Out of all like the um, like animated movies and like shows and cartoons and stuff like that, what female character was like, holy fuck, like this is doing something to me when you were oh, watching Incredibles. It. Oh, yeah, Mrs. Incredible. Yeah, she's insane. Yeah. yeah you, just, you don't, uh, there's no one else on the curves. She's, she's at the top. Yeah. Wow. Have you seen her in the last one? I haven't seen the new one, no. Right. Get on that. Okay. All right. That could be a Friday adventure. What about Lola Bunny? <laughs> what? what? <laughs> when she walks in? What? That's a valid question. If you take out the side that she's a bunny, but besides that, like, yeah, walks I know in, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. Floating that thing, you know? <laughs> anyway, whatever. <laughs> I thought oh, that'd be met with better, uh, better excitement. So that's it fun. Was pretty funny. There was another one on that podcast. I was saying, um, uh, what was the animal? The snake, the snake out of um, Kung Fu Panda. <laughs> <laughs> and, the, <laughs> and the guy on there was like fucking adamant. He was yeah. just like, no, 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 the snake. <laughs> and they were like, I think now, I don't know. I can't really what do you mean? Any others. Yeah, right. besides like, you know, like all the princesses and stuff like that. But fuck them guys. Yeah, fuck them. Lola Bunny. When I, I remember watching that at Space Jam, I was just like. That's the one. That's the one. That's the one. Mm. Anyway. Anyways. Didn't find the, didn't find a, a Lola Bunny, but I found Lauren. So. It's close enough. What's the winner? You decide. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> All right, our topic of the day is anger. Oh yeah, so it's a pretty good one, I reckon. It's yeah, it's within the uh, men's mental health. A lot of men are angry and mm-hmm. for the wrong reasons. So, mm-hmm. got a question, and Amy. it is the what is the emotion behind anger? And fuck, fuck up. Hit me! <laughs> Don't you didn't fuck up? Yeah. Uh, um. Yeah. So, what is the emotion behind anger? The, well, the emotion that there's yeah okay so. There's a fair few emotions that come behind um, anger, right? Like the way that I describe it, it's like, say like audio viewers, uh, listeners, you wouldn't be able to see this, but viewers, you can see this. Um, Say like you've got a big fist here and then say like encapsulated around that is like the anger, right? So like, it's like this outer layer, like of a, yeah, just wrapped around it. That's the anger. Then underneath it, it's just like a shit ton of stuff that will come out from it, right? So imagine if we were doing like an anger release right now, we went through a practice and at the end of it, you're just fucking screaming your lungs out. What's going to come f- after that? Well, excuse me, it could be like happiness. You could be like, oh, fuck. Thank God. God thank God, that's out. Yeah. Or all of a sudden, you could feel like your tear ducts start to well up and you're like, what's this? Mm. How long has that been sitting there for? What's why, why do I feel like I'm about to cry? Or you could be like fear, like fearing something else that's about to come up. So, I find that um, anger will be a cover up for fear yep. to start with. Like you'll be fearing what's going to come up now that you've released this anger, and then there's going to be emotions that follow. So yep. yeah, there could be there could be like sadness. There could be uh, anxious. There could be like yeah, uh, being really elated and happiness. Um, it, it's it's definitely a mixed bag and. Yeah, when we take our guys through um, our in-person events and and through the shift as well, it's we we do anger release and um, it's a good piece. I've um, yeah. experienced it. The last one we did in Melbourne, yep. probably the most powerful one I've been around, and that was that was amazing to see. Like, yeah, the so many different emotions you've seen on the men is crazy. Yeah, yeah, it's uh, men we we deal with with anger by distraction or you know going to the gym or. Uh, you know, like I've, I work with some guys that are like real, like real toolies and real like tradies and they'll like just go to the garage and just go work on something, right? So like distraction, 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 distraction. But then all of a sudden when you call to, oh fuck, I actually have to do something with this anger now or like, oh fuck, I have to actually do something in front of guys. It's going to be a different fucking thing that you didn't even realize what was underneath the anger. And your system gets so used to dealing with anger by being distracted. It's like, get angry, I'll distract yourself. Get fucking angry, distract yourself. Yeah. And then when you're in a different environment where it's like, get angry. Oh, where's, where's the distraction? Oh, fuck. Oh, 
I'm actually really seen right now. Yeah. I've got a lot of guys looking at me right now and they can actually see what's going Ah, oh, fuck. What's... Boom. Whatever it is. Like happiness, sadness. To be completely honest, a lot of the time it is sadness, tears, um, which they, that can relate to a lot of things. But a lot of the time it's like you've been holding on to something for so fucking long. All of a sudden you crack the outer shell. It's like... Yeah. Just all floods out. So... And like you seen what happened at the reconnection at Newcastle. It was like... One of the guys, Rowan, he was just like fucking releasing. Yeah. Releasing. And then all of a sudden, after he was just like, fuck, I feel so much lighter. It's yeah, like, well, smile on his face. Like, yeah. It's like, no wonder why. Like, think of it like you've been holding a 10 kilo piece of fucking concrete in front of you for so long. And then you release it and you let it go. Oh, You're like, wow. Your body's going to so be good. so much lighter, right? Yeah. So, yeah, the, the, there's a fair few emotions that are sitting behind anger, but. Uh, Majority of the time, and the biggest one that comes up first is fear. Yeah. And then once you process that fear, there's a lot of other emotions that sit behind it. Yeah. Okay. I reckon so as well. Yeah. Um, so what are some of the strategies, tools for the people at home to try and when faced with this emotion? Of anger? Yeah. Yeah, cool. First thing is if, if you feel like you're getting angry, don't distract yourself. Yeah, like Let your body, in. yeah, your body's going to want to do something else. Yeah. It's like when you're anxious, you're like, I want to run from this. I want to get out of this situation to change my environment to either calm me down or make me feel something else. Which, as we know, it doesn't change it. No. Like, you'll run to that area and you'll be like, oh, fuck, I'm still anxious. Yeah, it's the same thing with anger. You're like, fuck, go distract myself and I'm fucking angry while I'm fucking doing this. But then you come back in and you feel that tiny bit better. But you've just pushed it down. Yep. And you haven't really dealt with what's going on. So, the very first thing that I'll say is don't distract yourself. Like, if you distract yourself all of a sudden it's going to just be suppressed that little bit. So yeah, allow it in, allow it to come in. And the best thing that I can say to you guys is come up with a way in your reality that's resourceful to release this anger. However it serves you, right? Like for example, resourcefulness is completely up to the individual, completely up to you guys. So for example, if you are valuing damage and you are valuing, you know, the idea of, sabotage or whatever it is in this current moment you might feel that it's resourceful to release your anger on your children and your partner that could be resourceful to you now am i saying do that no of course not we need to assess why you're aligning to the values of damage and sabotage first but the most resourceful piece i can say to you is either i find and i teach my children this and i've posted it on stories before grab a pillow and fucking scream into it. It's a good one. Fucking you, scream into it for like 30 seconds. Yeah? Really fucking like find that depth of that bowel and just fucking go for it. And you scream, 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 scream. Drop the pillow down. Yeah? And then just come back to a simple box breath of just four seconds in, through your notes. Hold it for four seconds. Four seconds out the mouth. Hold for four seconds. Breathe in. Four seconds. Hold for four seconds, breathe out. So four, 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 four. It's nice and easy to remember. All of a sudden, your system's going to be relaxed and you're like, oh my God, I feel so much better. Yeah. Yeah. So that could be a simple way. A good, a good thing that I use if I'm by myself is get out into nature. Like really fucking connect yourself. Get your kid off. Yeah. We can strip naked if you want, but like get your kid off, get your shirt off. Make sure you've got no shoes on. Find a big grassy knoll of grass. Sit down, look up at the sky and just fucking scream it out. Let it go. Yeah. Like... Letting it go is going to allow your system to come back to regular, come back to its status, like come back to its chill, calm level. Otherwise, if you keep distracting yourself, all of a sudden you're just going to keep feeding yourself with coffee, 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 keep charging, da 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 da, and you're just going to end up going to point. Right? Yeah. So, yeah. Two points out of that is don't distract yourself and don't run away from it, and then find a resourceful way. Scream into a pillow, go to the gym. Yeah. Or get out into a, a nature forest and fucking scream your lungs out. Whatever it is. Or another piece that we do at the reconnection is like hold your fists like this and squeeze them as hard as you fucking can until you're shaking and you're tensing every piece of muscle in your arm and your system. And then really focus on it and then just scream. Like really fucking let it go. Yeah. So yeah, they're the, they're the two you, options. Do you think it's good to also write down what you're going through to help process? Oh, 100%. Yeah. Like journaling is one of if not the most vital piece a man can learn yeah like 
be completely honest, like, you know, before I started this stuff, I wasn't journaling, like, Other, at all. Yeah. <laughs> like, if I'm being completely honest, like, completely wasn't. So, yeah, understanding that going through this stuff and then literally journal on and write down why you were angry. What came up when you were angry? How did it feel when you processed that anger? What was the state of your system when you let that stuff go? That's vital as well. Yeah. Yeah, that's uh, some pretty good points there. I uh, use the journaling quite a lot and uh, screaming into a pillow. I find that really good yeah. to do. It's just a nice uh, like release. Mm. If you can't really, well for me, I can't really release much anger anywhere. But you just find that moment just to grab a pillow and a scream. Yeah. You, ju- you just feel like, I feel a lot of gratitude after it. You're just like, wow, that's so, so nice to let go. And instead of holding it in and going through the day and then taking it out on someone else, you know, like you can do it, wake up in the morning, like a good one is say, even if you not feel like you're not angry, just to scream into a pillow. Yeah. And then that'll help you go into your day with a better mindset. You know, you won't have that anger pushed inside of you from the day before or anything. So you're releasing it daily. So exactly. Yeah, yeah exactly. And like I said, I'm implementing this with my children at the moment. And um, yeah, it's really fucking adorable to see it. Like my 18 month old is just grabbing a pillow and she's going, <laughs> and it's like, or he whispers in your ear. <laughs> But it's like, you know, that I, for, for me, for example, I, I, I never knew anything about that when I was growing up. And this is no disrespect to my mum or anything like that. But, you know, I, I, wasn't, I wasn't taught this stuff at that age, no. right? So, yeah, like once you begin to embody and learn these things about yourself, all of a sudden you can start putting this onto your children and, and your partner and people around you. Because they're going to look at you and be like, that's resourceful. Yeah, That is how I want to be. Because he isn't taking it out on his partner, his kids, his friends, his work or whatever. He's taking it out and then coming back into a system where he feels calm, collected, you know, centered. Yeah. Something that every man wants to be in control. Yeah. Oh, good one. That's a good little little topic for the week. Um, so we've got another one here. So who are you? This is a question to you. Okay. Who are you more than just Polaris? Like what let's let mm-hmm. the people know. Like where do you come from? How do you get involved in all this? Okay. Um Two parts of that question. All right. So how, uh, who am I besides Polaris? Okay. So father, father of two, um, have a partner named Lauren, um, been together for 12, 13 years. It was her 30th on Monday. Happy birthday, babe. Happy birthday. Um, babe. I said this last week too. <laughs> Copy that. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, that, that's us there. We've created two beautiful children over the past, uh, Four years, which has been amazing. Um, I have a four-year-old daughter named Alia and I have an 18-month-old son named Luca. Um, yeah, which is an absolute fucking joys of my life. Um, we own a uh, in-person business called The Sanctuary. It's at Redhead. So if you're at Redhead, come down. Come anyway, down and have really, a look. It's really good. Yeah, it's fucking sick. So yeah, yeah yoga, center. Pilates, we have infrared sauna, we have massage, yeah, it's cool. all that type of jazz. Um, so yeah, Lauren runs that. So hit up Lauren if you want anything, she'll fucking sort you out. Um, and then, yeah, what do I do out besides of that? Um, I'm really into uh, hunting at the moment, into the archery. Um, so yeah, been uh, doing the archery for the past six months. It hasn't been long. Um, ever since stumbling into caves, which has been... Um, yeah, Keith has just been turned into so much more than a cameraman, which I thought he would be. Yeah. It's just fucking, yeah, taking my world by storm, to be completely honest. Um, yeah, so doing that, love the gym. Um, like I said, working on my body at the moment uh, since I damaged it for so many years. Um, still uh, still working on that to bring it back to the health that I want it to be in. Um, and yeah, I just love to get outdoors. Love to be with my family, be with my children, be with my children. Um, and yeah, love watching sports, everything like that. Typical guy, standard guy, just uh, fell into a business that um, not many people know about, not many people oh. have experienced before. Um, and then, yeah, the second thing, how I stumbled into this, um, I went through a own personal journey. Um, how old am I now? Nearly 30. So it would have been about six, seven years ago. I went through my own personal journey where... Um, yeah, just to keep it nice and short, just didn't really want to be here anymore, didn't really want to pursue anything, didn't really feel like I belonged on this earth anymore and yeah, went down that road of not wanting to be here anymore and yeah, coming out the back end of that, knew that I didn't want to do that because I just experienced it. Um, so yeah, stumbled into uh, doing an own personal development program of um, what I experienced by myself, went through some drastic changes, which was fucking insane. It was really, really cool to experience this type of world. Um, and then, 
following that, I uh, stumbled into my business coach about three years ago. So Polaris has been operating for about three years. Well, Polaris has only been since the start of the year, but... Oh, Jesse, so but this year? Yeah, start of this year was Polaris. Oh, Did I start this year or last year? You started this year and they started yeah. six months ago. So what, Polaris has only been, what, six months, five months well, or something? Well, you had... Gentle fatherhood. Yeah, which has been going for a while, which yeah. is still it's similar, I guess. But yeah, so the gentle fatherhood on. was two and a bit years and then I uh, outgrew the name, outgrew the identity of gentle fatherhood and changed into Polaris, which is, yeah, ever since doing that, it's just fucking... On mm. a on a on an upwards trajectory, oh, which right. has been awesome. Um, so yeah, started out the gentle fatherhood um, about three years ago. Um, I was making. I'm not even kidding here. Lauren will know that this is absolute facts. I was making eight thousand dollars a year for the first year. Second year, it was around. Just trying to add up the amount of clients that I had. Second year was about thirty thousand. We made thirty thousand. And yep. coming into the third year this year, we're on the trajectory of... Um, oh, actually, I won't say that. Well, I'll just keep that for another podcast. But let's just say it's... Uh, it's, it's, going. A, it's, a, it's a lot more than yep. what, I've, what I've experienced before. So, um, yeah. So, we're on a beautiful upwards trajectory. Um, and, yeah, have all thanks to my business coach and the people that I'm surrounding with, Keeves, and then yourself, um, just for... Yeah, it's, it's, it's so valuable to surround yourself with the right environment and the right people and the people that are going to do the best for you. And yeah, it, it, it just happens. Once you begin to align to yourself, all these people are just going to start fucking just swarming in. Yeah. Like the way that I found Keeves was literally a video on Instagram. I had no idea who he was. No fucking idea. Yeah. And that video popped up on my feed. Got in contact with him. I had no idea who he was. And I was looking at it. It was a video where he was on his computer and he had his phone and then like the text of the phone was popping up as like a holographic. And as he was typing, the holographic text was popping up and I was like, fuck, that's insane. That's cool, yeah. That's fucking insane. <laughs> Holy shit. And I reached out to him like, um, would have been this time last year. Mind you, I had like $2 in my bank account, right? Yeah. And I was like, hey man, love your content. You know, you're fucking sick. Keep doing you. You're like fucking killing the game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he's like, thanks, man. Appreciate it. Like, if you ever want to do some work together, let me know. And I'm like, about to send this message. I'm like, yeah, I fucking do. And I looked at my bank account. I was like, oh, yeah, I can't do it. I yeah. have no idea how I'm going to pay for this. Yeah. So then, you know, transfer, um, come forward to February of this year. Nearly, nearly the same thing, right? Like, there was a little bit more money, but not anything that I could afford of a content creator. But instead of being like, oh, I don't have the money. I was like, no, no, no. I believe in myself and Polaris. Let's do this. Yeah. Right? And then yeah. send him the message, um, literally send him the bare minimum that I could afford to start with. And then we did a photo shoot. And then literally from there, like, yeah. It's been crazy. It's fucking like, yeah, I can't even explain how quickly, like it's just started September and it's just gone like that. And it was just from an inner belief and a, and a place of like, knowing that I, it was like, uh, how do I explain this without tripping you guys out? Say that I've got a coffee mug here and I knew that the money was on the other side of this coffee mug, but I was only looking at the coffee side of the coffee mug I can see. Yeah. All it took for me was be like, no, 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 the money's there. Yeah. Like that was a statement I kept repeating to myself. No, 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 this is successful and this is going to happen and this is going to work. Oh, but Jacob, what about inflation? What about the you know pandemic? What about this? What about that? I don't care. Yeah. But the only focus that I have right now is creating an impact on my clients to change their lives. That's all I care about. Yeah. The money's the byproduct. All I was fucking solely focused on and still am is impact on these clients. And yeah, a statement that, um, that come out from my coach, he was just like, if you believe you're the expert in your field, you'll be the expert. I was like, okay. So I started really fucking started to believe in this. Then you start to get the evidence that you're the expert. Then what happens, right? People are going to be like, well, I want All that. This, yeah. I want the results of that. Yeah. So yeah, that was the journey over the last year and it's just been fucking crazy. Oh man, like, Life I, like I, I sometimes I sit back on like Friday nights, Saturday nights when it's a bit more chill, I don't have work on, yeah, yeah. yeah. And I just reflect on it. I'm like, fuck me. Yeah. Like, this is insane. Like um, a, a, a massive moment that happened for me um, uh, would have been the end of December last year. My nan passed away the end of December last year. And growing up, I, I didn't have a father, like my father wasn't around. So my nan was pretty much my second mum slash father because mum had to work four jobs just to fucking keep a head up yeah. like a home over her head right 
So Nan was like pretty much my parent. Like I didn't see my mum at all. Didn't know where my dad was. So I was like, all right, cool. Nan's Nan's yeah, mum and dad, right? Yeah. Um, so she passed away. And I remember the night before I rang her and she was um, in and out of consciousness. She wasn't, she wasn't here at all. She was pretty much passed away on the phone. And I made, I, I said to her, I said, Nan, I know that I said to you two years ago that this business was going to work, but I was only 70% in on this. Now I'm a hundred percent. And I promise you, I promise you, I'm going to stop at nothing until this business becomes successful. Yeah. And she was in and out of consciousness and she didn't say anything the whole conversation. And then that moment she said, I know, I know you will go yeah. get it. Yeah, that's cool. And I was just like, <sighs> yeah. All right. Now, now like, you know, even saying it, like there's an emotion in there. It's just like, it's like a fuel of kindling. Right. Yeah. So yeah, that happened. And then all of a sudden it was just, yeah, I was going to stop at nothing. And then all of a sudden did a program with you and yeah, I was looking for, I was looking for someone, um, for Polaris for pretty much since I got in contact with Keys, um, I could see the expansion that was happening. I was like, I need someone on this team. I need someone to help me with all of this. And I was looking and looking and looking. And then Keeves, I don't know if he told you this, but Keeves was like, stop fucking looking. He's right under your nose. Mm. And I was like, what? Talking about? Yeah. <laughs> what do you mean? So like I would search my friends list. Search this. <laughs> search that. And I was like, bro. I've trust me. I've stopped looking and I've just been like searching in my inner circle that no one he's like, I'm not talking to you about it until you fucking really think about it. Yeah. And I was like, all right, really, the really thinking, really thinking. I was just like, and I rang him. I was like, Taki. And he's like, <laughs> thank fuck. I was like, got you. Got well, you. It's, it's weird like, as well. Cause I remember in our last reconnection I did in, uh, up at Newcastle there, mm -hmm. I, um, we went on a bit of a, a journey in a meditation and I um I saw us together. It was like the the book The Alchemist, I read that. Yeah. Oh great book um, by the way. And at the end of it when it like in the meditation I saw this big it was like a white space and a big gold pyramid and then you were standing there in this like big chief outfit and I was sitting down, you'll stand above me and you just looked at me and you just said, You did it. And then it just like, all this emotion just hit me and I was like, What the fuck's that about? And mm. then I literally gave him out and the next yeah. day you messaged me and you're like, yeah. You want to join Flourish? And I was like, fuck off. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Cause the funny thing was you come out um, after that meditation and told me about that. Yeah. And I already made the decision a week ago. Yeah. And then you told me about that and I was like, all right, cool. It's it's all learning. Right, universe, yeah. I hear you. Yeah. All right, sweet, sweet. Yeah, so that's when I messaged you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was gonna tell you that on the spot, but yeah. I knew that would fuck up. Well, I remember you saying out. it to you, you were like when I came out and said it and you were like I remember we were talking about who's going to look after your accountability stuff and um, mm. it didn't oh, click yeah, into my head. Sorry. It never clicked into my head. And then I, because I never thought, really thought about I'd be working for Plush. And I just thought this is something I want to keep doing like mm -hmm. for myself, not like also do it for myself, but to help other people. But yep. I didn't think it would go to this extent. And the way it's heading now, I was like, this is what I want to do. I want to get out of. Well, the, like, you know, we, we can we can touch on what we're working on at the moment. Yeah. Well, that's what's coming. I was going to ask that question. Oh, yeah, sweet. So cool, cool. Yeah. So we'll, we'll transition into that. Like, yep. um. At the at the moment, what we're what we're um, focusing on expansive wise is we're going to start operating pretty much from like a company industry, um, small business sake, and be like, we know the power that we have within this and what we've created through the reconnection and our strategies and accountabilities and everything like that. Yep. And I'm seeing a a flaw in how companies do their inductions of mental health and how they assess their mental health and how they keep up with their mental health as well. Yeah. So this is a shout out to companies, industries, any small businesses that want to have a different way of looking after your mental health and being on the front foot of your mental health as well. Yeah. Instead of giving someone a PDF document to fill out to be like, are you, you know, healthy mentally and stuff like that. Of course, they're going to say, yes, yes, I'm fine. Yes, I'm fine. Yes, I'm fine. But if you start to implement a different, different strategy, i.e. in-person events and also holding them accountable to stay up to date with it, their mental health, their physical health, emotional health, and spiritual health is going to be completely changed. And then if you are changing that, what's going to happen at your workplace? It's going to boom. It's going to fucking boom. Like people are going to actually be like, I want to be here. that guy over here did the same thing that I went through and I trust him a lot more. I'm connected a lot more with him and I've seen him go through some stuff. Yeah. So that's what we're working on at the moment. And excuse me. I think we've got a couple of 
companies in the pipeline. We've so. got a couple of companies that we're speaking to at the moment, which yeah. is fucking insane and amazing. But if, yeah, shout out to you, like you guys, if you own a small business, if you work in a company high up or whatever it is, and you want to be on the front foot and take your mental health seriously instead of just doing inductions, hit us up. Yeah. Yeah. Well, like, I don't think there's not really the inductions. I've, I've been in mining construction for like 12 years now. And, um, they do have mental health stuff in there, but it's like they don't really check up on it, you know. Like every yeah. once once a year, they might pop out and be like, speak about mental health, and then that's all you really see about it. Mm-hmm. I know for a fact there isn't anyone doing what we're doing in within that space. So like, yeah, for us to try and get in there now to try and help like pe- like man and anyone really mm-hmm. just to open their eyes up to this different stuff that we're doing, it'll be huge for their business. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, that's our offer to um, companies, industries, small businesses. That's our offer to you and you know, like we've got in our strategy, come try it for yourself. Yeah. yeah. If you own a business, come try it for yourself. We will hold a day for you guys. And if you love it, which I know you will, but if you love it, we will then sit down talk about a strategy and how it will work for you and what you want to get out of it. Yep. And if, it, if, you, if you're like, no, that won't align to our business, cool. At least, you At least you've tried. At least yep. you've gone down that avenue of trying something different. Like, I'm not going to be like, no, 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 you've, you've done this and you need to sign up to something. No, like, no. I'm that confident in this product and what we've got. Yeah. Come try it for free. Yeah, for Completely. free. Completely. Come try it for free. Yeah. So, yeah, that's what we're operating on at the moment and that's what we're working on. So, yeah, a lot of a lot of expansion. So, what's yeah. going to come from that is we're not saying right now, but, um, yeah, we're going to have to look at getting some more people involved into Polaris. So yeah. Big, yeah. Um, well, we're also, we've got another one. I think, I don't know, is that the shed? Oh, yeah, we can touch on yeah, that. So sure. It just died. Oh, sick. <laughs> that's all right. I've got the questions. Man, that's <laughs> um, yeah, so we're looking at uh, trying to get a shed between us and Stoic, which is keys. Um, somewhere where people can come and do daily meditations and just group meditations or one-on-one work. We can run our reconnection days. Mm-hmm. Um, any kind of event we want to run out of it. Mm-hmm. Stoic will have their um, archery stuff set up in there as well. Yeah. Uh, we'll do the podcast and that from there. So yep. pretty much it's just, yeah, we're trying to work out a way we can have people, any like, male or female, come in and mm-hmm. experience what we're doing, just a little taste. And then if you do want to do further work, like you do, we do have that place now for people to come in and yeah. try. And yeah. So, and then you have that option of doing like a subscription base, like a gym. So, yeah. um, you know, you could have, you'll have your daily meditations, your daily breath works, you'll have your archery sessions. You'll have, if you want to invest in more and have one-on-one coaching, we're there for that. Yep. Or if you want to just come in and just use the archery lane, that's there. We're going to have the podcast set up. So if you have a podcast of your own and you want to hire out the podcast space, that's there as well. Yep. Like this gear is top of the line stuff. So well, I think we might probably start, uh, there's a little, st- fair few people getting around now doing a bit more mental health stuff like female and males. It, mm-hmm. it, it'd be nice to yeah maybe collab in the future with a few pe- different people, you know, like 100%. bring us everyone together and try something different. So. Yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, so yeah, that's uh that's what we're working on at the moment. Yeah, so we have got the shed. We're trying to uh, find something locally that yeah. um we can expand into and have Stoic and Polaris operating out of the same um the same business um business place yep. um, and then what will come from that is when we get into the industries we will be able to offer one-on-one sessions on like completely free within the strategy where those guys will be able to come in book in a session be able to sit down have a chat what's going on what can we work on what do we want to work towards everything like that so yeah, yeah it's just a new way of doing things and yeah i'm fucking excited man i'm yeah, fucking excited so yeah once we begin getting this on the road keep it in the back of your mind if you want to apply for polaris which is something i fucking I never thought that I'd be saying on a podcast, but um, if you want to apply, by all means, yeah. chuck it through. Um, we will be doing a massive vetting vetting program, and I don't accept in anyone into this. It has to be it has s- to be aligned to what we're doing as exactly. well. Exactly. So it's not yeah. just someone coming willy nilly going at it. So you got to yeah, you got to be within this yeah not really within this space, but just have the same aligned mm-hmm. values of what we have. So yeah. So that's um that's where we're currently at, yeah. and it's um yeah it's next pretty good next six months twelve months is going to be huge. Insane, yeah. insane. So, like I said, find your environment and your fucking th- everything around you is just going to completely align. Like this is what I envisioned three years ago. Yeah. And yeah, now it's um now it, now it's, it's happening in front of my yeah. face. So it's yeah, I'm getting goosebumps talking about it. What else? Yeah. We got? <laughs> <laughs> All right. So um so for lo- well we had our task last week. So what was it again? It's cold showers and journaling. So we're gonna give you a new one for this week. So the task for the week is we want you to sit in silence for, t- uh, for five minutes with no phone, no screen time, nothing. Yep. And at the end of it, I want you to journal what has come up and just write it down and just, yeah, see, 
do that for a week and to see what, what changes can happen. Yeah, yeah. The biggest the biggest thing that um, I, would, I would encourage you to guys to do for this is, yeah, put your phone to the side. You don't. You can do it sh- eyes shut if you like or eyes open, but um, just sit in silence for five minutes. Yeah, just <laughs> simply sit. Don't have to have a screen on. Don't have to do anything like that, but just sit. Just look, look out the window, whatever you want to do. But you'll, you'll be surprised what thought processes will come up when you are not distracting yourself. Which help, help you give you a clear mind too if you're going through, you're facing a challenge or you're going through something you just and you're not really sure what to think or what to do. Mm-hmm. Doing this is a really good way to help. 100%, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah so begin implementing that. Yeah. Well, we just spoke about what's next for Polaris. So that's pretty much what's happened. So it's exciting stuff coming up. Yeah, yeah, I'm fucking, uh, mate. And like, you know how we operate. It's like, if, like we said in the gym, we put it on the board and it's just like, all right, we go. Yeah, once it's on the board, we're fucking. Yeah, we're like we're on. So like, yeah. you know, we're getting emails sent out to sheds. We're getting in contact with companies. We're like, we've, we're fucking on. Yeah. Like, it's a really, really good position. And, um, you know, nothing's falling behind either. Like, my main focus and will always be my main focus is kings and shifts. Like, that's my main focus. And that's not going to fall behind. No. But the expansive products on the side is something really fucking exciting. And this as well, like, this is an expansive yeah. product as well. Like, longer form content. We've got... You know, new website is literally just finished being built by Keeves at the moment, and that'll be. I think I might have a chat to him after this. I think, I think it's might, pretty close. I think he's it might I'm, be ready. I'm pretty sure he finished it before. Too, yeah, so. so we might have a we might have a new website over yeah. the weekend or next Monday. I'll have yep. a chat to him. Um, so yeah, like all these new things are coming in, and it's just um, the best word I could say. It's just becoming really official, like yeah. really fucking like we're putting our mark on this, and it's um, yeah, really really fucking exciting. Fuck yeah. Yeah, that's what's next for Pol- Polaris is uh, industry work and... Shed. The shed. What do we have to call it? Shed? Shed sounds pretty sick. Uh, it's a bit something. No, I don't like it? Right, cool. I d- yeah, I don't Whatever. mind it, but um, we'll come up with something. We'll have to come up with something. Can't be corny. Yeah. <laughs> It'll be corny. It'll be fucking corny. Anyway. All right. Well, been a pretty good episode, I reckon. Covered a fair few things. Fuck yeah. Um, what have we got? Got the, the men would... Oh, we would have had the boys start the Kings this week and the shift... True. Coming up. Yeah, so good, that's good right. Luck to everyone that's about to do that. Let's fucking go. Yeah, we've yeah, got... Um, exciting times. What we got? We've got, uh, what, four guys in Kings, five guys in the shift. Um, and yeah, yeah, the guys in the guys in Kings have already completed the shift, which is a prerequisite to, for the Kings. Um, and they've done the work for the shift. They've grounded and they've found their foundations. Yep. Now it's time for them to become the true leader. And the shift is, yeah, they're finding out their true foundations and fucking... It's yeah, exciting so for exciting. the boys that are about to go through the shift because I've done it, so... Yeah, oh yeah and, I, um, and I sat down the last couple of days and I've recorded new meditations. I've got uh, new journals, which is behind you. Um, so, um, yeah, like new empowerment journals, which you guys can see see out there, which is fucking awesome. Um, and new content as well. And it's, yeah, it's going to be fucking sick. It's yeah. going to be really, really cool. So, yeah, week one, tick for you guys. And Kings. And Kings is week one big as well. Big dogs. as well. Yeah, the big dogs. Yeah, yeah the Kings are... I'm yeah. excited. It's, uh, it's going to be a couple of pretty exciting nine months. I'm not too sure what to expect, but I have a rough idea what's going to happen. It's going to be pushing myself to the absolute limit, not physically, but mentally, well, probably not physically as well, but mentally. Is, and that's what I want. Oh, like, this is where I'm going to find out my true soul. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah this is um, yeah, this is going to be really, really cool. And then the summit at the end. Yeah. <laughs> I, th- I think I'm thinking, I'm thinking Noosa. I think we'll have to go to Noosa. Yeah. I think so. It'll either be Noosa or Gold Coast, especially at that time uh, of year. We can't go to the Gold Coast. We'll get stuck in the Vortex. Oh, true. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, okay. All right, no Vortex. All right, we have Noosa it is. <laughs> Noosa it is. So, yeah. Yeah. Sweet. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you. Thank you for having us. Um, if you've got any questions or anything you want, just drop it in the comments. And, um, yeah, we'll see you on the next one. Yeah, drop them through. And um, thanks for joining in. And we'll what be back next Friday. Friday. Every Friday. Let's go. Let's go. Thanks for joining. Peace. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye. Thank bye. you. Bye.